Hey guys, it's Amy here, and today we're going to be doing a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey. I will leave her channel link down below and also a link to the Goodreads page if you want to go and join the group. This week's topic is best books that have been recommended to you from other people, so I have five books here to show you, so let's get on to it. The first book I have to show you is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. This book was actually recommended to me by Colleen over at Little Ghost Creations years and years and years ago when I first started my channel, and she was running a booktube kind of giveaway on her channel, and I entered to win it, and I won it, and she sent this book over to me, and I absolutely adored it. This book is kind of a mashup between mystery, historical fiction, romance, and just a load of other really great things. If you like books that are about books, then this is probably one for you as well, because the whole kind of plot of the story centres around this mysterious author that supposedly died, and his all of his books have been burnt and disappeared. There's also a very nice library that the protagonist goes to. The whole story is set in Barcelona, and I actually visited Barcelona after reading this story, and I just absolutely fell in love with it. I'm definitely going to reread it again at some point soon, so I would highly recommend if you haven't read it yet. The next book I have here is The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. This was actually recommended to me by my granddad and I think he bought it for me as well. So I would describe this as a very dark Narnia story mixed in with a lot of other fairy tales. The protagonist in this book is a young boy who is not very happy with his home life. He is having a lot of problems with his family. Uh, he ends up kind of walking through a tree trunk, I think it is, and ends up in a different world completely. Inside this world are loads of fairy tales and mystical kind of beings and things like that, ones that he's read about in books, but they're all kind of skewed and quite dark and I would definitely say that this is one to t kind of take a warning with because it is quite dark and twisted, maybe not for younger readers. The boy has to travel through this land and kind of fight off all these mystical horrible fairy tale beasts uh, to get to a certain point so then he can go back home again. It's so cleverly written and so brilliantly done, it centres so much on the psychology of this young boy. If you enjoy psychology, especially child psychology and how things can affect someone and what it can do to their head then I would definitely recommend that you pick this one up. The next one I have here is actually one that was recommended by you guys and it is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. So I read The, the Moonstone last year and really enjoyed it. When I put up a video about that book all of you were saying oh my goodness you've read The Moonstone you need to read The Woman in White because that's the kind of most well-known book and the most praised one from Wilkie Collins. So because I trust your opinion I went and picked it up and I actually read it last month and I thoroughly enjoyed it. This book as with The Moonstone is told through various different perspectives. We start with a man called Walter Hartwright. He is walking through the streets of London and he comes across a woman completely dressed in white. This woman seems really distressed, like she needs to get away from the situation quite quickly, so he helps her into a carriage and she goes off on her way. He then overhears two gentlemen talking to a police officer and they're saying that they're looking for a woman completely dressed in white and that she's escaped from an insane asylum. Walt Hartwright is a little confused by this because the woman didn't seem insane, yet he has no idea where she's gone so he doesn't say anything to the people. Months down the line, Walter is in a different part of the country and he comes across the woman in white again. And the whole book is centred around this woman in white and how she is connected to all the different characters in the book and whether she was even meant to be in the insane asylum to begin with and how it all kind of plays out it's just fantastic and I would highly recommend. Book number four is actually one that I've read this month and I'll be talking about it in my wrap-up. The book is The Assassin's Prentice by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in the Farseer trilogy. I picked this one up on a couple of people's recommendations. Samantha at Novels and Nonsense and Mercy at Mercy's Bookish Musings. Both of them have spoken highly of Robin Hobb. I think they've read the vast majority of Robin Hobb's books and the way they were raving about them in various videos that I've seen made me really want to pick them up. The series is quite high fantasy. It follows the story of a boy named Fitz who is a bastard born son of one of the royalty in the area known as the Six Duchies. As the title may suggest, the boy named Fitz actually becomes an assassin's apprentice and you follow his story and he grows up and just it's so fantastically written and so brilliantly done. All of his relationships with people like I became so attached to these people so quickly and I thought it was fantastic. So I'm, we'll talk about it more in my wrap up but I really enjoyed it and I would highly recommend final book I have to show you is The Host by Stephanie Mayer. This book was recommended to me by my best friend Rianne. When we were really young, I don't know, 13, 14, we were reading the Twilight series, really enjoyed them at the time, and I hadn't realised that Stephanie Mayer had brought out a new book, and my best friend said to me, you should read it, it's really, really good, and I read it, and it's actually one of my favourite books. I really, really love this book, so much more than the Twilight series. It's a really, really great read. It's very different to the Twilight series. The story centres around a group of, kind of, aliens that come to planet Earth and use 
human bodies as their hosts. These aliens go down into the human bodies and then the human kind of conscience inside kind of disappears and then they just take over the body. The main character Melanie is a human at the beginning of the book and she has one of these aliens put inside her and really she's meant to just disappear but she is fighting and she doesn't want to disappear. Melanie and this alien which is known as Wanderer end up sharing this body and Melanie's kind of human thoughts kind of meld in with this alien's thoughts and they end up kind of going Melanie's way. The story is beautifully done, it does have its flaws, but I think the overriding message of what it does it mean to be human and having your own body and physical appearance and all the things it brings up is just so wonderful and I really really would recommend if you haven't got on with the Twilight books this it's like it's written by a different person like I just adore this book. There we are those are the five best books that I've been recommended by other people let me know down below what your five best books are I'd be really interested in speaking to you about it. As always I will leave links to Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter everything I've mentioned today down below I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye. Lyra and Will. It is so beautiful. Over the course of the three books, it grows so naturally. It's not kind of the insta love.